Welcome to this week's enrichment session, talking about perspective. Now, perspective is an interesting word because it has quite a lot of different connotations. Um, some of you may have heard it or remember it from in DT lessons when I'm sure Mr. Nelson has taught you about one point perspective or two point perspective. Because um, perspective is all about how we look at things and how things seem or appear to us. So we're going to talk about some of the different ways of looking at things and some of the different reasons for looking at things in different ways. Now, any of you who have been taught by me before have quite possibly seen this picture. Um, it always causes uh, some interesting comments. Uh, but yeah, this is an interesting perspective because this is a hippopotamus but normally when we see a hippopotamus we see it from the side. Uh, this is a close-up view of the inside of a hippo's mouth which is not the view that we expect. Um, this is obviously a bee on a thistle. Uh, this photo is taken by me uh, I'm a photographer, so I'm. that's part of the reason that I'm very interested in perspectives. Um, so this bee, obviously we normally just see them buzzing around. Uh, occasionally, some of you might be panicking as it flies into the classroom. Uh, but this is one that is just sitting on a thistle. So I got quite cl up close just to see what it was doing to take this photo. So this is one of the details of the world around us that we are often don't notice. So it's always useful, always good to look around at those details that we maybe ignore most of the time and just consider what things we are missing. Um, this is just a standard footbridge, um, but as I was crossing it, again with my camera I just I realized that kind of the Sun was shining off the mud in an interesting way and yeah it so I decided to just take a quick picture so even just the very ordinary things when looked at from a different angle or through a slightly different lens it can give us a very different viewpoint uh, this is a kestrel that I spotted and I was on top of a hill so again interesting viewpoints here uh, that's the theme for the photos that I selected to put into this uh, we don't normally see birds of any kind really but especially birds of prey from above um, they don't tend to land on the ground near us uh, but because I was on top of the hill and I spotted it uh, hovering down there I think it was hunting for rabbits or mice. Uh, yeah, got that interesting viewpoint on it. Uh, another interesting viewpoint. This is a lavender farm. I'm sure your Instagram, is, well, if they're anything like mine, they're probably flooded with people taking photos at lavender farms over the summer. Uh, but this viewpoint is getting really low down so the those little lavender bushes which are only maybe 30 centimeters tall seem to tower above where we're looking at it from so again the viewpoint where we look at something from how it will change how it appears to us and it change the impression it gives to us uh, quite drastically uh, this is another one of those details of what we can spot if we are not kind of just taking for granted what's around us. Um, this was, obviously you can see there's a little bit of snow on this. This was from a couple of weeks ago when we had some snow. I just walked outside my front door and spotted that this tree, ha which had some red berries on it, had collected a little bit of snow. So this is just on a normal residential streets, flats and houses all around it, uh, cars parked just below this, 
but there's these kind of little beautiful details that we can spot if we take the time to consider them. Uh, this was another interesting viewpoint. This was from the uh, sixth form physics trip to Switzerland. So as well as visiting uh, CERN, we also visited the UN building. So this was uh, just as we glanced down from a balcony as we made our way through the UN building, there was this kind of cutout in the floor of the floor below us where we could see down. So this is going down two stories. And I liked the fact that you can see that there is obviously this octagonal uh, kind of fencing around this hole. And then there was the octagonal desk right at the bottom. So yeah, so that interested me. I'm not sure what the guys chatting down there are chatting about, but that's why I wanted to take that photo quickly as we walked walked past. Now this one is something that you guys have all seen because this photo was taken right outside the school. So on the school fields, just behind the rugby pitches, past the tree, you will be able to see in the summer that the grass tends to get quite long. And this was a photo I took of one of those blades of grass. So there is this beauty around us that if we just change our perspective a little bit, to consider how we look at the things around us, we can really spot kind of a different side to the world. Uh, and this one, even closer to home, or even closer to school, this was something that I snapped a photo of. Uh, in the canteen, I think it was at the end of a lunch break, I was eating my lunch and the sun was shining in through the windows into the canteen and I spotted that we were getting these rainbow patterns as the sun shone through one of the water jugs sitting on the table. So yeah, just a quick little photo later and that's what's there. Uh, so yeah, there is always, even in kind of the most mundane situations of just sitting eating our lunch, there is always that beauty to be found around us. So looking at things with the right perspective can make the impossible possible. Now this one, I'm afraid I can't claim as my own photo. This is one from the internet. But you can see just from this angle, and I'm sure you've seen the ones of people holding up the Tower of Pisa, all those things. Just from looking at things from a different angle, we can see a totally different image. Now this picture is one that is illustrating another point about perspective. When we're thinking about perspective, we not only should be thinking about how else we can look at things, we should be thinking about how somebody else might be considering something. Now, it's all too easy to just make our own assumptions, to use our own viewpoints, our own, well, our own perspectives and to not really think about why the people around us might be behaving in a way that we don't like or in a way that we disagree with. Um, and it's all to do with our perspective. Now, in the photographs I was showing you at the beginning, we were talking about physical perspective. So where did we stand? How close did we get to something? Did we get down lower than we normally do? Did we look down on things that we normally see from below? And in this diagram, obviously, you can see that the physical positioning of these two characters is changing their viewpoints. But there's also the kind of um, philosophical viewpoints, which come from not our physical positioning, but our emotional and mental positioning. Where have we come from? Where have we been raised? What experiences have we had in the past? that mean that when we walk into a classroom, a room, uh, the canteen, what is it that we are bringing in our own um, personalities that will affect how we see what's in front of us. So it's always important to try and think about how did I come to this decision? How did I come to this viewpoint? 
And also, why might this person who disagrees with me, why might they have come to their viewpoint? Um, this picture, as I'm sure you can all see, is of an old man with a moustache, a uh, bit of a bald head, with his eyes closed. Or, quite possibly, you might have seen that this is the back of a woman's head, where she's got a little bun tied up, very long eyelashes, and you can see her nose just poking out. So again, depending on your personality, depending on which part of the picture you have to glance at first, depending on what uh, mood you're in, which of those images you saw first might have changed and might make it much, very difficult to spot the other version. It's often difficult when you see these pictures because there's a lot of different examples. Uh, once you've spotted one thing, it's very difficult to change and to perceive the other version of the image. And again, this is something we need to be aware of. If we have a viewpoint that we formed, that early viewpoint is often very difficult to shake. So we need to be aware of our own um, our own biases and to think about why our biases have been formed and whether they are correct. Uh, we don't necessarily have to change our opinions based on what other people say, but we should definitely consider uh, other people's arguments or other people's points of view. Uh, this picture is one that I'm sure you've seen a version of somewhere on the internet or somewhere before. This child is having a bit of a meltdown because their ice cream has just fallen on the floor. And this is something that as, well, older people we may find a bit silly. We might find it quite funny, ha the silly things that these small children will find upsetting. But what you have to remember is that for this child, this is the worst thing that has ever happened in their life. No event more terrible has ever happened to this person. So to us, dropping an ice cream, a little bit annoying, maybe a bit upsetting, what might seem that you've wasted your money, that that ice cream is now gone, you're looking forward to it, you're not going to get to eat it. But with our experiences, we know that that is something that is going to pass. We know that there'll be other ice creams. It's maybe wasted a few pounds, but it's okay, we'll deal with it. But if you think about the things that are maybe bothering you today, that seem like the end of the world, seem like the worst thing that has ever happened in your life, again, a bit of perspective, looking back on it in a few years' time, might not seem quite so bad. The events, the problems that seem so insurmountable at this point, uh, whether it's being stuck in a lockdown or anything really, this too shall pass. Just have a bit of perspective, look at the world around us, try to find those beautiful things that are around us even during a lockdown, even during the darkest depths of winter, and try to change your perspective and consider how other people might be looking at the world. Okay, thank you very much guys for listening to my talk, and have a good week.